I'm Dr. Vicki Peterson. Welcome to part three in my four-part collagen series. And today I want to talk to you about the research that does support a benefit to collagen, and it specifically has to do with rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is a autoimmune disease where your immune system starts attacking your own joints, particularly hands and feet, and doing a lot of destruction. So it's very painful. Um, people can't use their, their hands. Um, it's painful to walk and therefore ambulate. So it's, it's a miserable condition, absolutely. And what they found was type two collagen, particularly, um, not just with humans, also with animals, um, diminished pain and discomfort. And so that's a good thing. However, um, so that so I don't want to limit the fact or, or negate the fact that that's a good thing because it is and there was definitely decent research to support this and and of course when you're looking at having this disease and being in pain um, simply uh, buying some collagen powder of the type 2 sort and you know you can put it in anything and it has no taste and sounds very easy and and the fact that it does make you feel better is very good, so not, not negating that. However, now my however, um, when I think autoimmune, what do I wanna do for my patients? And if my sister had autoimmune disease of rheumatoid arthritis type, what would I want to do for her? So number one, I'd wanna know what is the cause, okay? So why did the immune system start to target her joints? Now the collagen powder kind of ratchets down that response, that inappropriate response of the immune system to attack the joints, which is good, but why? Why did the immune system decide that in a confused state, what got it so confused that it thought your own joints were something that should be attacked? And there is a reason for that. And I've done a lot of videos on autoimmune disease. If you go to our site, rootcausemedical.com, you can see a lot of different blogs. But in a nutshell, that confusion tends to come from an overstressing, overtaxing of the immune system, which can be food related, infection related. So we're talking about um, bacteria, parasites, etc., and it can also be toxin related. So one of those three things, it's usually at least two. I also recently did a blog on rheumatoid arthritis and a certain bacteria. Uh, so you should look at that if you have rheumatoid arthritis. Um, so why do you want to do that? Because you really want to stop the process. And this is very key, when you have one autoimmune disease, you're three to 10 times more likely to develop others. Now, while the collagen of the type two type was found to uh, reduce the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, which is good, there was no research to support that the type two collagen had any benefit for any other autoimmune disease. So you see what I'm saying? If you're not getting to the root cause of why you your immune system is so overtaxed and overstressed, and you know when you have one autoimmune disease, you're much, much more likely, three to 10 times more likely to develop another. If we don't get to the root of what's driving this and we're just suppressing the symptoms, we're not doing the full benefit. Do you see what I mean? So um, that in a nutshell is, is the bottom line about collagen and rheumatoid arthritis. Yes, you can take it if your dog has rheumatoid arthritis, sure, give them some collagen powder or her some collagen powder because it will make them more comfortable. But as humans, we have lives to live and goals to meet and dreams to make reality. And what I want from my patients is not just to feel better, certainly, but next step. Why did it happen and how do we prevent it from happening with other, you know, developing other autoimmune diseases? And how far back can we bring you even from rheumatoid arthritis, which we've seen very good success with? So um, with the collagen, you have to take it every day in order to uh, enjoy the benefits. But once again, it's not getting to the root cause and it's not protecting you from developing other autoimmune diseases. So. In the main, would I recommend it? No, because I really want to get to the root cause and prevent future autoimmune disease and, and really get a handle on why your poor immune system is so overtaxed. So 
that is part three having to do with rheumatoid arthritis, <laughs> rheumatoid arthritis and collagen. And uh, part four has to do with your skin and does collagen make your skin look healthy and rejuvenated? In other words, does it take years off uh, the appearance of your skin? So that's the next one. Uh, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if, um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely share it, tell others about it. And if your health is not the way you want it to be and you like the idea of getting to the root cause of why, that's why I'm here, that's why my team is here. So please reach out to us. You can call us at 408-733-0400. Uh, reach out via the website, rootcausemedical.com for a free consultation. We can either do it in person if you live locally or over the phone if you do not. And that's why, as I said, we are here. We help the world's busiest people regain, retain, and reclaim their health, their energy, and their resilience. We would love to help you. I'll see you soon.